so um, I've never made a YouTube video before, but I love watching these kinds of videos and I thought it'd be really fun to film. So I am going to talk about what I got for my 15 month old baby girl's stocking. Um, <laughs> this stuff is not all gonna fit in here um, because I went overboard, <laughs> but I'll just kind of scatter the things that don't fit around the stocking. So. Um, I just have like the treats and stuff already in here. So I'm going to show those first because I feel like a stocking is not complete without like some kind of treat. <laughs> um, not like she's probably even going to really eat all of this. It's not like I want to give my baby a bunch of junk, but you know, like I got her this little Kit Kat candy cane. She might eat like two of these and me and her dad will eat the rest. So I got that. I got this giant... Sucker. It's not actually a giant sucker. There's smaller suckers inside of here, but I thought that it was really cute. And again, like she'll take a few licks off of it. It's fine. Um, some Reese cup trees and a little snowman push pop. <laughs> so that's all like the candy. I also bought her this little Minnie Mouse juice. Um, not really sure she'll know how to drink out of this since it's so narrow, but I thought it was really cute and I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so going into kind of the toys, I did get a couple of like fidget toys. She really likes the small poppers, like poppets. Um, and she's played with them before, like in our church nursery, but I've heard horror stories about them, little pieces popping off in like blocking the airways of babies before so I didn't want to get her one of those but I found this and it's like a bigger one I think these are called like dimple poppets and I know fat brain toys has one that's probably better quality but it was more expensive and this was like three dollars at Walmart and it feels fine to me I think she'll like this this would be something fun to give her like in the car seat or something like that so I got her this um <clears throat> In her Easter basket, you know, last year, I got her, well, where are they? Some of these small pop tubes. Um, they're like the mini versions, and she loves them. She has played with them and played with them. And um, when I bought them, they came in like a multi-pack, and I only gave her a couple of them. Um, and I put the rest up for later, so... I'm going to put the remaining three of these in her stocking. And to go along with that, um, now that she's older, I think she's strong enough to do the regular size poppets. Because they, you know, they take more strength to pull them apart. Um, so I got her a pack of, I think it was a pack of two. Some of the stuff I already took out of the packaging to see how I could make it fit in the stocking. So that's why they're just out like this. But, I, oh, there's three. So there's three of these to go in there as well. And here's like the size difference between the little ones and the big ones. They also have even bigger ones, but I didn't feel like she was ready for that yet. Um, I think that's all the kind of like little fidget stuff that I got. So I was at the Dollar General and I saw these balls. And when you shake them, they, you know, like the glitter goes everywhere and they're really pretty. The camera's not even really showing. Like it's actually very pretty and very like satisfying to look at <laughs> and she's in a ball phase right now anytime she sees a ball 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 <laughs> so I know she'll like this it's actually pretty heavy I don't really think she's going to be able to like throw this she'll probably have to hold it with two hands it's so heavy but I just thought it was fun and I just found this out <laughs> I didn't even know this when I bought it it also lights up when you like drop it or throw it so She'll definitely love that. I didn't even know that it did that when I bought it. <laughs> um, and so that was from the Dollar General. And when I was there, um, they also had, they, they were having like their buy one, get one 50% off sale. And this was not included in it. But I had picked up another toy that was, it was like one of the little egg cartons that uh, when you open the eggs, there's like different colors and shapes and they have to match them up. And it was like a little six carton of them and I originally bought that for her stocking but there was just no way it was going to fit with all this other stuff so I wrapped that as a gift but 
I'm saying this because when I went to the registers, when they told me, oh, it's like you can get one for half off if it has this certain symbol if you want to go back and look. So I did, and I went back and I got this little um, doll. And so she was originally $5, so since she was half off, she was two fifty, dollars And she, I already took her out of the packaging as well. Um, but I liked this one because she looks like more grown up than just, she's not a baby. She's like a toddler, I guess, or just like a little kid, but she's still small. And my baby has, um, dolls this size that are like actual babies and she loves to like cuddle them and take care of them and feed them. So I thought that this would be really cute and it's soft and she doesn't have anything like this. And I did get her some baby dolls for Christmas, but they're all babies. So I thought this was cute for two fifty. I thought it would be cute to put into her stocking. So also from the Dollar General, they had some Melissa and Doug stuff this year, which I was really excited about. It was like smaller versions of things that they already offer. Um, and so I found this little princess magnet set for $5. And I thought this was really cute. I thought she would like playing with these on the fridge. And I know they make other sets that are like Disney and numbers and animals. And I, if she likes these, then I'll get some of those later on. But I thought that this was just a, for $5, a cute stocking stuffer to let her play like on the fridge or whatever. So I was really excited about that. I also bought several things from the Dollar Tree. And let's see. I found these two little um, paint sun catchers and Minnie Mouse and Disney princesses. And I thought they were very cute. She loves to like scribble and paint and things um, with like obviously supervision. And I usually use like taste safe paint, but I don't know, I might make my own paint or I might just put a pasty in her mouth and just watch her very carefully if we decide to use these on this. But I thought these would be fun. And this stuff is great to get from the Dollar Tree. So I really liked that. And along with the Disney princess theme, I thought this was a good find for the dollar, the dollar 25 tree, I should say. <laughs> Um, it's like an on the go little sticker kit and I don't want to take it out of the packaging because it's a pain to get back in, but that's what it looks like on the back. And so you can just fold it open and it comes with these reusable stickers and they can peel them and peel them off. So I thought that was cute. This is another thing that's not going to fit in her stocking, but I'll just kind of like prop it up beside it. <laughs> so, and I thought this was a good deal at the Dollar Tree because I've seen these at Hobby Lobby. And they're more than that. I mean, not much, but by the time they, like, have their sales and stuff. But I still thought that was a pretty good find from the Dollar Tree. Some other things from the Dollar Tree I got. Uh, I think I lost one. Oh, there it is. Um, I found these little Sesame Street, Elmo, and Cookie Monster figures. They are kind of similar to, like, the Fisher-Price Little People. And she's obsessed with these. And she's just loves carrying them around and playing with them and chewing on them whatever so I thought these were kind of similar I wish they had more characters and they might my store just might not have had them but I did find these two I thought this would be cute to include in her stocking I kind of like I get nervous when she takes these out with us places because they go to sets like this goes to the barn and I'm like if she loses it I'm I just like get whatever about that kind of stuff. And I know I'll have to like replace this because it will drive me crazy that like we're missing the farmer for the barn. <laughs> but this kind of stuff, she could take these. They might be like a good replacement. And if she loses them, it doesn't matter because they don't go to a set that will bug me if it's missing something. <laughs> so got those. Um, also along the figurine line, my mom had picked her up one of these little Monsters Inc figures and she got boo and I was like okay well I'll get the other two to go with it <laughs> because again that's just how I am I like to have complete sets of things so I got the Mike and Solly little figures and she'll also have boo as well um something that is not from the Dollar Tree this these were from Walmart but I took them out of the package to make them fit better <laughs> are these little Winnie the Pooh finger puppets get them on 
they're so cute. So you've got all the classic characters. Um, I got her some bunny finger puppets in her Easter basket and she still plays with them. Um, and so I think she'll really like these. And we are going to Disney in January. So I'm kind of trying to get her associated with the figure, like the characters that she might not really know yet. And I thought the Winnie the Pooh ones would be cute to do. Back to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I just got this little comb and it's got this cute little fluff ball. When you hand her a hairbrush, she knows that it, what it's used for, but she doesn't quite like know how to actually brush her hair yet. But I thought this would be cute just to leave in her diaper bag. We're always needing to like fix her bows and stuff. Um, I thought this was cute from the Dollar Tree. It's a little mini Etch-A-Sketch and it's actually like the Etch-A-Sketch brand, which I thought was cool. Um, I had contemplated getting her the big one for Christmas, the big Etch-A-Sketch, but I thought she would just get frustrated that the pin is on the string and, you know, if it like wasn't going where she wanted, I think she'd just get mad. So I held off on that, but then I saw this and was like, that would be cute to throw in the diaper bag and just have with us on the go, like at restaurants or whatever to entertain her. So I got that and along that same line, I got this little kitty cat notebook and I just again thought that'd be cute to keep in the diaper bag let her scribble when we're out places and she loves cats so I thought that was really cute I get her a card for every holiday and, and we write a little note and put stickers in it so that when she's older she can look back at him so this is her little Christmas card that I'm gonna stick in her stocking um she likes dogs I thought it was cute happy holidays um, more Winnie the Pooh. These are go together flashcards. Still a little bit too advanced for her, but I think it's something we'll grow into. And I thought they were cute from the Dollar Tree. Winnie the Pooh. Um, I picked this up after I got these other snacks, which is why it wasn't in there with at the beginning. But I found this at the Dollar Tree and it's a little dog and you push the button up and it, a sucker comes out. So, I don't know. I thought that was cute. And you can replace the sucker, I think. Um, but I think she'll like playing with that. And also, it's a little sucker. So, put that in her candy pile. These are the Fubbles. And I've heard of these before. It's like when you tip them over, they're not supposed to spill. And they come in usually like bigger containers. Um, but I found this at the Family Dollar. And it was just a little version for a dollar. And it's perfect size for her. I thought this would be fun to throw in her stocking. I got some batteries, which I'm not actually putting in her stocking, but they're in this bag <laughs> for all the Christmas things. You have to be prepared with batteries for all the toys. Um, I got this Melissa and Doug Water Wow set. She has one of these already in like an animal version and she loves it. So you fill this little pin with water and when they scribble all over the pages, collar appears like they're collaring, but it's just water. These are great. I feel like for, you know, a, a young toddler around this age, because if they put it in their mouth, it's just water. Like it's not going to be toxic, um, but they can all, they could still practice some of those scribbling and fine motor skills. Um, safely like this and they're good to take on the go so this is a v blah, blah, blah. I thought it was construction but I think it's all just different kinds of vehicles so there's like trains cars um it was the only one they had or I probably would have picked a different one that but it's fine she'll love it either way so I got that and I think the last thing which I contemplated wrapping this or putting it in here, but I think I'm just going to stick it in here. I had got her a couple of other books for Christmas and I had already wrapped them and I actually already gave them to her because I'm a sucker and I've already given her like four of her gifts early. <laughs> but, um, I got these after the fact or I would have just included them in that. So anyways, I'm going to throw these in her stocking. I found these at TJ Maxx. They are are the Melissa and Doug Zoo Faces book. So it came in a pack of three. Oh, so there's Zoo Faces, Farm Faces, and Good Night Faces. And they're little books that you open up and they become like a mask. And we do bedtime stories every night. She loves books. She can entertain herself for a very long time with books. So I know this is something she'll have fun, like holding it up for us and also us 
holding it up and pretending, you know, to be whatever animal it is for her. And these, I had never heard of these. They're Melissa and Doug. Um, and they were $7.99 for three at TJ Max. So I thought that was a decent deal for Melissa and Doug. And just something different. She doesn't have anything like that. And that is all. I actually, like I said, I had some other things in here that I ended up wrapping up as gifts because they just, there's no way the rest of it's going to fit in here. So I mentioned the little egg toy was supposed to go in here. I also had found some of those little Dollar Tree version of the Disney Tsum Tsums. And I think that's how you say it. They are so cute and I know she's going to really like those. Um, I bought every single one that they had. <laughs> I found like an, a box that had just been put out and nothing had been taken out of it yet. So they had all the characters. I think there were like 10 or 11 of them. So there was Minnie, Mickey, some of the Winnie the Pooh characters, Dumbo, Stitch, um, Marie from the Aristocats. That maybe like Goofy and Donald, something like that. Um, but I bought every single one that they had and I don't have any regrets about it. But when I put them in here, they literally took up almost the entire stocking. Like by the time the snacks were in here and I put those in here, it was full. So I just wrapped all those up in a box as a gift themselves. I wish I would have filmed this before I did that to show them because they're so cute and they would be such cute stocking stuffers. But I wanted it to like mainly fit in here and it was just like nothing else was going to fit if I did that. So I wrapped them as a gift. But that's all. I was kind of thinking that there was more. But like I said, I did trim some stuff out. So I thought she, I hope you got some good ideas from this or just enjoyed watching. I love watching these kinds of videos and just thought I'd give it a try for myself. So <laughs> thank you for watching.